Welcome to January's Diabetes Technology Report. In this video, I'll get you up to speed on what happened in the diabetes technology world over the last month, and this includes Asensia Blood Glucose Manufacturer is entering the CGM market with the newest partnership with POC Tech. Their first CGM is coming later this year. JP Morgan Healthcare Conference happened, and spoiler alert, Medtronic gave us a sneaky peek of Medtronic 780G and 890G. Intranet shared some more information about Omnipod Horizon with Dexcom and Omnipod Dash. This and some Bigfoot news, Beta Bionics news, and a lot more is coming your way. Diabetes technology, artificial pancreas, implantable CGMs, insulin pens, closed loop systems. We are not waiting. Let's start with a new CGM. We need more competition in the market because it gives us more choice. And we are about to have a brand new competitor in the CGM space. On 7th of January 2019, Quantum Meter manufacturer Asensia has entered into a partnership with Chinese CGM developer and manufacturer POC Tech. POC Tech current CGM called CT100 is available in selected markets and Asensia will commercialize a version of CT100 in initial 13 specifically selected markets where POC Tech does not yet have a distributor. So let's talk about CT100. Since this lasts for seven days and they can be worn on both your abdomen and on your arm. Transmitter has an interchangeable battery which needs to be replaced every time sensor is changed. System is very accurate with MARD of 9.61% in some tests and 8.67% in another. System requires one daily calibration. Now, Asensia will commercialize a version of CT100, so it will be slightly different to the current version of CT100. I reached out to Asensia for some details, and I was told that the research and development team is working with a POC Tech to see what they can do to improve any of the features in the short term. They do not anticipate to change the design of the initial product. Asensia intends to distribute their version of CT100 in the second half of this year. It will be first available in those initial 13 markets. As always, as soon as they announced which markets they'll be launching first, I will give you an update on that. Now, they also signed in another agreement to combine research and development efforts to create the next generation of CT100. I was told by Asensia that one of the things that they are trying to improve is calibration and that they are aiming to submit the second generation of their CGM uh, for first regulatory approval by the end of 2020. Really looking forward to um, seeing this new CGM and um, looking forward to covering it in the future diabetes tech updates. Now let's unpack everything from JP Morgan Healthcare uh, Conference. Now a little background on this event. So this event is for um, investors and business people and uh, companies like to kind of show their investors what they're working on, what they are planning to launch in the future because it, it makes their investors happy and that, that kind of business. And so pretty much everyone was there, Metronic, Inchlet with Omnipod, Abbott, uh, Dexcom was in there really, it just because they had their investors day in December. So everything that they talked about, like 14 day Dexcom G6, Dexcom G7, direct Apple Watch integration, all of those things. I covered all of that in my December's diabetes technology report. So check that here or in the video description. So Medtronic, they are planning to launch those three things by the end of 2020. Advanced hybrid closed loop system, which is a name for give me more insulin when I'm high, give me less insulin when I'm low system with Bluetooth called Medtronic 780G. System will connect over Bluetooth with your phone and allow sharing. So their version of Dexcom share. System studies indicate time and range of 80%. Next up, ICGM designation. Now, I think this is very, very interesting. By the way, I don't think I've talked about ICGM and I algorithm and what that means. And I probably should make a video about it. I probably will make a video about it at some point using a human language. Um, I will. So basically, but basically, ICGM means integrated CGM. So CGM that you can connect to so many different devices. So um, basically, like your Bluetooth headphones, because the Bluetooth you can connect the same pair of headphones to so many different phones to so many different devices. So it's kind of like that, but for a continuous glucose monitor. 
So currently the only CGM that has iCGM um, accreditation is Dexcom G6. And that's one of the reasons why you can connect your Dexcom G6 to so many different products like diaper loop, closed loop system, T-Slim, X2 pump and others. So for Dexcom it makes total sense but for Medtronic it's, it's interesting because they don't really have a lot of um, CGM partners or pump partners. They just have their own pump and their own CGM. So it, it's interesting. And also Sugar IQ uh, Generation 2 with improved carb counting. Beyond 2020, Medtronic said that they are launching 890G with improved personalized algorithm. Also 890G will work with unity sensor. So no calibration and 10 to 14 day wear. Next, Omnipod creator Insulet. Omnipod Dash is expanding. Insulet is describing Dash as a platform and it really is. In the future, Dash product line will diverse to diabetes type 2 product and product with concentrated insulin. Omnipod Horizon closed loop system, so give me more insulin from the pod when I'm high and give me less insulin from the pod when I'm low system is looking great. It will connect directly with Dexcom, so we will have algorithm, so how much more insulin calculation brain uh, think built into the pod and it will be controlled by your own smartphone, but not PDM phone, your actual phone, like your actual personal phone. And Abbott, based on their slides, I can say that they delivered a short presentation to their investors and only said that they have a, quote, robust research and development pipeline. OK, some Bigfoot news now. They announced that their systems will work with Lily insulin products. This is a non-exclusive partnership. Next time, some beta bionic news. Their bionic pancreas development is going well and they just closed Series B financing round. So basically, we are getting closer to first Bionic Pancreas. One of the newest investors is actually Dexcom, and Dexcom is now also a strategic partner to Beta Bionics. Also, Sensonics is working on making their US implantable sensor last for 180 days. Currently, Eversense sensor in the US is implanted for three months and six months in Europe. Also, quick cool thing about this AcuCheck meter. You can now order this free tiny wireless adapter to make connect directly with my sugar app. It's free and it will directly send all of your blood glucose readings from the meter to my sugar app so you can export them to your healthcare professional, etc. And just one last update about Dexcom. Dexcom released a brand new transmitter for Dexcom G6. I reached out to Dexcom for some additional information and I was told that they release a limited quantity for the moment and the new transmitter will coexist with the other one for some time before replacing it completely. Shape is different due to a new manufacturing process, but functionalities are exactly the same. So that's it when it comes to diabetes technology updates. Now, I want to talk about a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I want to talk about something that's happening next month. Um, obviously, I'm talking about Valentine's Day. <laughs> now, of course, I'm talking about spare a rose. Idea is to buy one less rose for Valentine's Day and donate the value of that rose to life for a child. Link will be in video description. Please consider donating. I think it's a fantastic way of raising money for a charity. Um, so please check out the video description for some details. Now, one more thing I want to talk to you about. This, my live glucose level. Now, the initial idea behind it was to show you that uh, I'm not always in target, the fact that I'm low, I'm high, uh, and it's normal. Sometimes when you look at Instagram or Twitter, you only see the straight graphs and perfect numbers. And, and the idea was to show the fact that I'm low, I'm high, and it's normal. Now, the idea has backfired hugely. Here is the thing. I always record my monthly diabetes technology reports overnight. So I don't have any insulin on board when that happens. I don't have any carbohydrates on board. And my glucose tends to look like that, but that's truly not a real uh, representation of uh, what my levels are like during the day. So just wanted to let you know that. Um... And yeah, thank you for watching. So this was your January Diabetes Technology Report with me, Near Diabetic. See you next month. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe here and check my other videos right here.